Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We're back right where we left off with the career training save file, where we're going through the in-progress, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Career mode. And when we left off, I, I had a mission that got so much science. Look at all the science I have. I have 43 science. I could theoretically purchase all of these things, could I not? Because this one takes 20. Okay, maybe not all of them. Maybe just two of them. But, uh... Rocketry, this one gets me a smaller, like a lander engine. The struts. Struts are going to be important, obviously, for landing places. Nose cones. Nose cones do something. I'm not sure what, though. I was expecting them to have, honestly, a little negative drag. That would, like, reduce the total drag of your, your spacecraft, but apparently not. Uh, winglets. Radial decoupler. Hmm. What do I want? How many is this? I suppose... I could get these two. But if I got this one, I couldn't get any of the other ones. The radial decouplers are important, so I'm going to get... Even though the winglets, honestly, and the nose cones, I suppose we can check out. So yes, let's get this. Oh, I suppose I don't know how to do math. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess what does that unlock for us? It gives us... Okay, now here we go. Here's where some of the space plane things come in. Ooh, and a robotic. We can start doing robotic missions. Oh, these are important. 45 science! Holy cow, these things really get difficult. <laughs> you know, they really uh, they really make things difficult. They really, what's the word I'm looking for? Exponentially increase in the amount of science you need to research things. So I think, huh, I wonder if this is enough to do like a mission with. That gives us that rocket. This gives us a little bit, the, the more gimbling rocket. Maybe I should get this one. Yeah, let's... Research! Oh! Well, that's surprising. That they come and connect together. What does this get us? That's, that's an important field tank. Huh. I was not expecting the trees to come together. Is that normally how talent trees work? I don't know. Alright, so I think, obviously we can't do anything else, but uh, what should be our next mission? Uh, I wonder, I mean, I wonder how it works, honestly. I'm not obviously one to, to really look at the wikis or the, what's the word I'm looking for? The tutorials or, or pre-made things or the forums or anything like that. So I'm not sure, like, what the specific best or, or intended way to get more science, you know? I don't know if continuing to do orbital stuff is is important uh, or if we'll just keep making the same amount of science with the same missions, you know. Uh, oh, don't I have a radial one? Oh, I guess not. Oh, that was one of the other trees. Getting so confused. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, I wonder now because one of the things Could I put this on the side? I suppose I could. <laughs> that doesn't seem exceptionally uh, safe. But uh, why not? I don't know. I just I just feel like you need to bring that home. That feels like something that the game would require you to do because you can't. You can transmit, but then you lose like seventy five percent of of your. Uh... I suppose I should... I'm sorry, you lose 75% of your, your science that you've gained. Alright, so let's... Let's just go down the line. Let's make an upper stage as we do. As we do. Alright guys, I'm back and I've built a thing. A little bit limiting and honestly I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned <laughs> that the solid rocket boosters will actually outlast these liquid fuel boosters. Maybe. So I might have to do some last minute... Uh, last minute staging switches here at the end. Just 
possibly. We might have to do some on-the-fly staging, uh, switching. Staging, switching. So, I've, I've named this one the More Science Please. Version 1. Uh, we're going to try it out. Not specifically too much of a destination, so I guess we'll see what happens when we do get into orbit. However much fuel we have left will de depend on what our our eventual mission is to be, so to the launch pad. Ooh, okay, already things were a little bit jiggly. I am very concerned about the lack of struts. Lack of struts is concerning indeed. All right, Jebediah, you've done two very successful missions already. It's just past sunset here at Kerbal Space Center, so that should make things interesting. But let's get some science. Oh, wow, look at all the lights that suddenly are around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, the light is shining on the rocket. That's new. That's very new. Very cool. But anyway, more science, please, in five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, yes. Ooh, doggy. All right. Okay, good. The solid rocket fuel is burning faster. Just barely than these liquid fuel engines. I am not burning the central engine. This is kind of my not quite onion skinning kind of, or is it asparagus? Some sort of layered vegetable. I am kind of drifting to the north. Oh, it's probably because the extra drag caused by this. Very interesting. And I don't, I did not, oh dang, I didn't put any of the thrust vectoring things. I should have used the, the wings, the wings. Oh lord. Alright, we're gonna lose the solid rocket boosters. Alright, let's try to regain some control here now that those are gone. Wow, it was really dark. Alright. There we go. Okay, watch it, watch it, watch it. We should be tilting over. Oh, control, control, control. Whoa! Okay. Still got a good amount of fuel left here. Let's try to get back on the 90. Whoa, whoa. What's this looking like? Pretty uneven. All right, all right, that was more uneventful than I expected it to be, but it, it worked ish so far. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Wow, that the planet and the shady, the shady, shading, <laughs> shadows are are very dark compared to previous versions. All right, I think we are going to get to space here. If I could just Let's throttle down a bit. Okay, whoa, whoa, yeah, we're kind of out of the thick part of the atmosphere, so we're losing a little bit of control. We don't need that much throttle anymore. All right. I believe we're going to make it to space. Whether or not we go anywhere else interesting is another issue. I don't want to keep doing, like, the same mission over and over again. That was my concern earlier about... Whoa. Tilty. Tilty. Alright. We are running out of fuel. There that goes. And... A little bit of force there. Let's throttle down. Alright, yeah. At least we're in space. And I should probably... Fire this engine, and let's try to correct for our incorrect orbit we have going on here. It's going to be wasting a little bit of fuel doing this, but... <laughs> Jebediah Kerman, you're crazy. Crazy! Into space! Very nice. What is the orbital velocity? It's like 2200 or something like that.
going to get a nice low orbit, which is convenient. The electric charge thing is something that concerns me, to be honest. It's, uh... It seems very problematic without any sort of electrically creating devices other than your engines. Right, you know what, I should just face the direction I'm going. Just to get the best use of my fuel. It's not a perfect orbit, but it will do. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if leaving your Kerbals in orbit for longer periods of time gets you, nets you more science or not. It's, it's, it's very imprecise. It's not a science. All right, we're in orbit. And... All right, that is an official out of the atmosphere orbit. I will use that fuel. Ha. Huh. I wonder if I could just be crazy enough to consider, because I'm assuming doing some sort of experiments while orbiting the moon, if not landing on it, should get you something. Although that is a lot of... It's a lot of power we're going to need. And we're quite off. Oh, no, 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 cancel that. Ah, oh, dang. I don't know which one I pulled. All right, let's fix this first of all. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was giving me like a live update. That's about as good as we can get. Oh, no, no, come back. Then what happens if we do this? Getting fancy with multiple maneuvers. Whoops. All right, there's our moon rise. That was in the early versions of the game before all these maneuvers and rendezvous and, and encounter calculations were put in the game. That's where you had to burn for the moon is by by watching it rise <laughs> and then okay burn now <laughs> and it was a rough estimation as to be a good time to to burn for the moon but we have a estimated 21 second burn uh yeah that, that's about right hold on hold on hold on all right i just wanted to do that test so now try to split the time if it's a 21 second burn you want to start at t minus 10 so that when you reach about halfway is where uh, the, the middle of the burn takes place and stopping. All right, yeah, I, I should probably do my. Oh, that's not right at all. That that's not exactly what I wanted. All right, let's. Get that. Up. What do we got? What do we got? All right, let's. Okay, it would appear right now as though we have an, an impact into the moon with this trajectory. How much fuel do we have left? Oh, plenty, 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 plenty. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's just do a little bit of... There we go. 26,000 meter encounter. I'm, I'm assuming I will gain so much science from this that I won't know what to do with it. I'm not going to land on the moon. We're just going to orbit it, gather the science, try to determine if... Returning home with it, or simply transmitting it, is the thing to do. Uh, so, so we'll see. Let's fast forward time and space, and I'll see you around the moon. All right, here we are in the shadow of the moon, and it's telling me estimated burn of three seconds. I think that's wrong. I'm going to do a test burn. Oh, it's actually it's 
a very small burn. This was a very efficient trip to the moon. All right. So let's wait a few more seconds for things to get uh, on target here. Yeah, this is the, the plan I have going on. Uh, let's maybe start five seconds. It's a very short burn. And right now. Yeah. And... I don't want to overshoot it, then I'll go crashing into the moon. What have we got? We've got... Make it pretty even. 31 by 25. That's good. It's good by me. Haha! -ha! We are in orbit around the moon. Jebediah could, could not be happier. So now let's do some science! Let's do it in the sun. You know, we gotta work on our suntan while we're up here doing science. <laughs> Alright, first things first. Let's ask for a crew report. You look at the surface of the moon and try to find a good landing place. The inside of the Krabers might be the best option. Krabers? Craters. Uh, no, we're not making a landing today, but 15 science! Oh, and if we radio communicate this from here, we can do 100% of it. Um, let's try. We should have enough electric charge to do this. Right? Alright, let's try. Okay, okay. No comms devices on this vessel. No, I forgot to put the antenna here. Oh, boo, Kurt. Boo. Well, alright. Jebediah. Make sure you write down your notes, because you got to bring them back. So I guess we are coming back. Uh, all right, let's do the mystery goo experiment. The goo feels right at home here. 30 science! Okay, so yeah, the, the data certainly increases. Uh, I'm not sure if it depends on what body you're orbiting or landed on or, or the altitude away from Kerbin you are. Uh, we will see. Review reports. Okay, yeah, keep that report. That's 15 science. So now we could probably also do an EVA report. If we just let ourselves float away. Yeah. Whoa, okay. I mean, I, th I don't have enough fuel. I said I, I could theoretically land with this thing, but taking off would be an issue. Uh, there's a way without the lander legs that you can create lander legs with the the delta wings. All right, EVA report. I've recorded 24 scientific value. Wow. EVA report from space just above the moon's highlands. Keep that data. All right, I think that might be all the science we can do. Because that's all the scientific equipment we have. We have the EVA guy, we have our capsule, and we have the goo. The goo! So I think that is where we have to get back in our spacecraft. And think about heading home. But, uh, uh, grab. Good job, guy. Board. Good job. Awesome. Okay, I suppose the, the more crew members you have, the more individual science units they can each carry and then bring back the capsule. That makes sense. Alright. Now to return home. We are going this way, which means we want to burn this way, which means I might be able to do this on this orbit, so I guess I technically didn't do an entire orbit of the moon. Um, okay, that's obviously wrong. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I gotta think about this. The moon is traveling this way. If I burn this way... Oh, I might have to do that on the back side of the moon. The dark side of the moon. Yeah. So if I burn this way, then I'm canceling out my movement. Although if I do it here, it seems to take less fuel. Excuse me. No, no.
Now remember, Kurt, <laughs> if we're going for a direct landing... I'm just trying to test things out. If we're going for a direct landing, make sure you're below 30,000 meters. Boop. Like that, 18,000 meters. Even that seems... just to be sure. <laughs> Let's do it that way. 17. Okay. We have our... trans Kerbin injection burn planned, so I'll, I'll bring you back when we're doing that, and hopefully when we return home safely. Wow, this... everything's just going so fast! <laughs> Slow down, Kerbals! You're, you're, you're going at warp speed! Haha! <laughs> Space reference. Reference! All right, we're doing our burn. That's a very short, tidy burn. Very efficient. Now let's see what that got us. Might need to do a little bit more of that. Yeah, all right, now. Oh, ha, <laughs> I believe I may have just made us intersect. Yeah, it's not giving me a periapsis, but I guess we'll see when we get out of the moon's influence, so... Fingers crossed, everybody! I mean, I wonder if... Yeah, I wonder... Let me try to do an EVA when I'm outside of the sphere of the moon's influence. Because it said that report was stored when I re-entered the capsule. Is that all stored in the capsule? So if I go out and do another EVA, will I get more science and then bring it back to the capsule and just file that in or can I only have one EVA science permission you know it's kind of unknowns all right guys we're back and we have left the influence of the moon which is right there and we are on our way home we have a 3,000 meter periopsis so we're for sure we're for sure landing on Gerben no more of this business of bouncing off the atmosphere like we've done before but I just want to try something while we are on our little journey here, let's try to bring Jebediah back out. Have him float away a little bit, just for drama drama's sake. Dramatic. And let's do an EVA report. Okay, it, it, eight scientific value. So, I suppose it's... Uh, Diminishing returns, no matter how many EVAs you do. And I'm assuming, like, in orbit of the moon, you can only do one EVA. In orbit, high orbit over Kerbin, one EVA. So, uh, that that makes sense. Uh, let's see if we can get back in the capsule, and then if I get those extra... Science! Grab... Whoa, you missed! You missed! You missed, Jeb, you missed! Whoa, 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 there. No, no, down, down. All right, <laughs> gravity. <laughs> whoops, 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 whoops. All right, grab. Board. And EVA report. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. So I guess to get the most out of out of your science, you could every mission do a, an EVA report in orbit around Kerbin, in in you know, in transfer, you know, a high orbit around Kerbin. And then in orbit around what other, what other other whatever other body you're planning on orbiting, so maximizing your scientific value. I mean, I guess I wonder. I see now. I suppose having multiple canisters, like I, I can only have so much science. I can reset it, but then I can do another experiment out here. But it not, might not be worth as much as what I got over the moon. Ah. Everything's falling into place, so yeah, that's why you might want one more of these to take mystery goo uh, samples at, at various places. All right, but regardless, let's let's have a re-entry, shall we? No episode is complete until we totally ruin everything at the last moment. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, here we are, back around Kerbin. We're about to pass through that threshold that is the 
the Kerman line, I suppose. Yep, music stop. We're heading back down. Almost like a pinpoint landing back at the launch pad. That would have been cool, but coming down hot, and we are indeed going to come down completely. Still had some fuel left. This is an efficient little uh, upper stage here. Of course, it gets less efficient the more stuff you put on it. So let's disconnect, if I did this right. Whoa, that thing has a lot more oomph than it used to. So now we are officially just a just a capsule coming in. So let's ooh, let's do that. Kind of a re-entry attitude. Still no actual heat effects that would cause problems or anything. Just just visual so far. Still hasn't been added to the game. We're coming in quite hot. 2,800 meters per second. Hopefully this thing can withstand such things, such re-entry heat effects. Wow, we're actually coming in a lot faster than I had hoped. Hello. Uh, yep. Heat. I got ya. Slow down. Slow down. Oops. All right, we've slowed down. <laughs> that was a little scary. I didn't know what was going to come of that, but I think about... Yeah, obviously we're re-entering now. Uh, I think about... Again, I like my, my 5,000 meter parachute poppage. It is a nice altitude I've come to. Hopefully there's enough clearance between these two parts. I think there should be. Woo. It's very twitchy to control, but... I think we're ready. Let's fast forward time just a little bit. Make this a little bit more bearable. And popping the chute. The drag chute, drogue chute, however you want to name it. That is going to splash down. We're going to learn if they fix the loud splashdown sound in a few seconds here. Good. Hold your ears. And splash down. I said splash down. Splash down. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was like good timing. All right. So now as we make our way down, we can fast forward this anyway. Jebediah Kerman, who needs other astronauts? <laughs> this was a good mission. We had. Uh, I'm looking forward to the totals. Then, of course, in the next episode, we will apply those to further things to unlock and more challenges. I, 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 the things I really need are struts, because the more complex rockets, the more struts you need to hold thing every everything together. And I really those fuel feeders, those fuel cross fuel pipe thingamabob hoses are are very important. And splash down. Yes! Wonderful job, Jebediah. Wonderful job. Now let's recover the vessel. Oh, 93 science gained from this mission. Okay, so the crew report near the moon, I suppose. Well, no, that, that, uh, that writes it over every time. Like if I did a crew report around, I don't know, we'll find out. EVA report from the moon's highlands, 24, and then EVA report after we left the moon was 8. The mystery goo was 30, and the recovery was 16. A very nice mission. I'm not sure what data value equals. Are those like different tiers, or maybe eventually we're going to have to have like install hard drives on our on our ships and we can only store so much data still a work in progress but uh yeah this has been Kerbal Space Program another 93 science added to our to our list i do appreciate you watching and stay tuned for the next episode when we go even further and gather even more sciency goodness woo